Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for October 25th through the 31st. For anyone with gem in their chart, really, honestly, any placements, <laughs> cross watchers, you are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies may show up reversed to you. Your cards are very stingy today. <laughs> and uh, again, it's a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? We are coming out of that Aries full moon. I just put out your shadow work video. So you can check that out, okay? Especially if you're interested in um, healing, understanding the deeper stuff that's going on, okay? You guys are showing up as the seven of coins, okay? Not a bad energy to be in, okay? I do want to start off with um, a starseed oracle, but you are thinking about what it is you want, okay? Really trying to evaluate what will make you happy, okay? It may be time and you may feel it in the energy where it's time to have some movement, okay? Oh, we got two. Double mission. How funny is that? There's a synchrony right there, Gem. Lightworker. Starseed. Serve the world by being you. Okay. Love this. And the void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Okay. This is all about discovering who you are. Okay. And going forward as that person. Right. Your challenge is the star, Aquarius energy here showing up, okay? This can be um, a wish fulfilled, okay? Something that you've been really wishing for. It would explain um, the energy of the Seven of Coins where we're kind of like trying to manifest or plan and there's not a whole lot of action, okay? The challenge could also be to learn a lesson, okay? Heal. Let's clarify the Seven of Coins and find out more. Four of Swords, heal. There it is. Okay, there are lessons to find here. Okay, you want to look um, at your options going forward, your choices going forward, decisions going forward through the lessons that you've already learned. Okay, that's how we end up not having to repeat cycles. Okay, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. I see you feeling very stuck right now, okay? Trying to possibly heal something, okay? Um, where there is a lot of lessons to learn, but there's also a lot of anxiety, okay? And fear about not working it out, okay? Um, well, let's clarify this star energy here, find out more about this. Page of Cups, the Hierophant, the two of wands in the reverse. Taurus energy showing up, okay? This can be somebody that you are deeply committed to, okay? Um, this can also be about healing for your soul, right? On a spiritual level, okay? Um, it doesn't look how you thought it would, whether, okay, that's in a relationship, um, whatever you're trying to pursue, whatever you're trying to pour your heart and soul into, okay? It's like life didn't end up looking how I thought it would with the two of wands in the reverse, okay? The Hierophant and the Star are two strong major arcanas popping up, okay? And while they're in the challenge position, they're here to support you, to tell you this is divine, okay? All of this had to happen. It couldn't have happened another way. There was so much for you to learn. There's so much for you to be grateful for, right? But there's a cycle that you need to heal now, okay? Because I see this offer, okay, um, of commitment, to a path that's not meant for you, that's being blocked, okay? What's going on around you? It's got you focused. Eight of Cups in the reverse, okay? Something or someone that... It's like triggering this feeling of abandonment, okay? They could have walked away from you. You could have walked away from them. But it was a heavy energy, okay? There wasn't closure there, right? The Fountain... And there is where your awakening and your enlightenment can lie. Queen of Wands in the reverse. The sun in the reverse. He, <laughs> this has been coming up in all the readings. That's why I'm laughing, okay? It's um, happening for the collective. We are all truly, and it's been coming up, I believe, in your readings as well. In the past here, identifying what is ego and what is soul, okay? Um, thinking passion, right? was some kind of soul purpose, okay? We're starting to understand ourselves on a deeper level. We're starting to understand this um, new vision, 
right of what could possibly make us happy because it's like whenever we follow this in, it's an impulse okay with the queen of wands in the reverse okay it's something that we thought we were so passionate for we thought we were in touch with our soul and we later discovered it wasn't it okay um the hermit in the reverse exactly virgo energy here okay blocked intuition okay forgive yourself for not knowing okay you're on a journey of learning okay but with this person okay or the energy that's surrounding it it's this feeling of it needs closure okay forgiveness for yourself again there's a lot of enlightenment that can come from this situation okay or with this person hmm interesting with the three of cups there it shows there's this um common path of healing but i think that's just the divine purpose coming in it's for everybody's highest good there's one path of alignment for everyone okay in the past it's the nine of swords in the reverse interesting so this was you facing your fears here okay this could have been when you started to realize or identify um something that you were pursuing that wasn't close to you okay or wasn't um resonating with you anymore okay deep attachments okay especially we saw the Hierophant um before if you were committed to this person in a family dynamic with this person okay of course right there's a family there's money right there's property um hmm and it really is coming through like yes shadow work but it was terrifying just absolutely terrifying to look at this but you did it was a f ooh, cars are flying out death scorpio energy seven of swords in the reverse you had to become um out of this defensive energy okay seven of swords is survival mode okay it would make a lot of sense on what we just talked about with the queen of wands in the reverse the sun in the reverse okay um being blocked on what is being happy because We've had to lie to ourselves all our life, okay? Maybe um, how we learned to do things was somebody from somebody else's wounds, right? So it wasn't true. It, wasn't, it didn't identify with our soul, but it felt like we had to, okay? Um, very robotic almost, right? Ace of coins in the reverse. Yeah, there wasn't a foundation there to plant anything, okay? Nothing solid, right? And it's coming through as a cycle. So maybe this resonates with you for a relationship maybe this resonates for you with a family dynamic a friend dynamic okay spirit it's about spiritual growth though okay it's a cycle that needs to end right living in survival mode okay because you're afraid to look at something suffering right knowing you're deeply unhappy on the inside you you know that but not being willing to acknowledge it because the attachment the fear right of loss of the dark of being this eight of cups energy right was terrifying okay the hermit in the reverse just flew out again so this is telling me you knew deep down what resonated but it wasn't conscious okay it was from the subconscious from a soul level here your strength is a ten of swords this is following um again in alignment with the other readings okay so don't be hard on yourself i'm telling you the collective is clearing this stuff out we are not meant to chase what is not meant for us anymore okay your strength is the ten of swords which is interesting because on this deck here that i shuffled with your original cards it's the ten of wands okay at the end you can't handle it okay you have to accept the end it comes through as a rock bottom, but it's coming in as your strength. Why? Because we can rebuild. But let's clarify so I can repeat that. Page of Wands. I love that. Because you can rebuild with your spirit. Okay? And give yourself permission to not completely know what it is that you want. Just start with small things. Small Know the difference between an impulse from attachment, right? Or a pattern, okay? Or something where it's like, I'm just drawn to try this, right? Do more of that. Put yourself out there of that. That's how you heal that feeling defeated, feeling like you can't go on, okay? King of Wands, yes. That Queen of Wands in the reverse, that's going to, like, ugh, there's the growth, right? It's going to pull you into the King of Wands. Now you're embracing your best self. You're going to start to feel so good about yourself, and you're going to put that energy out there, right? 
The King of Wands is so passionate. He's creative. He teaches people, okay? Guides people. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Calm down. Five of Coins in the reverse. It's time to recover, okay? From everything, from anxiety, from fear, okay? This can talk about um, suicidal ideation, okay? Money issues, just instability, okay? Notice the cycles, okay? It's time for you to find stability everywhere, how? By following your soul. Those little voices, okay, that you hear. Those little messages. Going forward, five of cups in the reverse. So we're accepting the loss, okay? We're in recovery. And it's true, right? It's not just something where it's like hanging in there and we're still in survival mode, right? Carrying this like dead weight around. We're genuinely starting to feel better. We're genuinely starting to feel lighter as we discover this, as we resonate more with our soul. All of a sudden we notice, hey, things are going okay now, right? But again, here's that 10 of wands that I told you earlier. That requires you to not bear the responsibilities and worries and fears of others, the pain of others, okay? The Ten of Wands is somebody that is burnt out, right? Too stressed, too overwhelmed. It's time for you to listen to your soul. It's time for you to invest in yourself, Gemini. Five of Wands, the Emperor. You have to stop feeling like you have to show up and fight every battle, okay? And Aries energy with that, right? The Emperor. It's, um, it's going to come down to an ego thing. It truly is. You're going to have to find a way to not feel like... This is something that's being done against you or you could have done something better, right? You showed up perfect, okay? It's not something you could have fixed, okay? But now you have to swallow that pride and know when to cut your loss is what I'm seeing. But I see you doing it. I see it being hard with the conflict. I see it truly just being like, okay, I'm dropping this weight then. It's not meant for me. But there's something empowering about that. Your advice, nine of wands in the reverse. Stop trying to force what doesn't fit, okay? Anything that makes you feel hopeless, anything that makes you feel burnt out, anything that catapults you into that 10 of wands energy, okay, that's what we need to release. Seven of coins in reverse. So how funny is that, okay? There's some more synchrony. Seven of coins is the energy that you showed up in, okay? Your advice is to let go of what you're trying to manifest, okay? It, it's coming through as a block, as a dead end for now. Knight of Coins, find a focus. Learn the lessons, find the gratitude, find closure, okay? That's what your advice is right now. You don't have to make a certain move. You just have to stop trying to force, okay? Just allow yourself to be present, okay? Learn, observe the situation, okay? Take a step back from it here understand how you gave too much why right when you're reflecting don't beat yourself up just learn about yourself learn that was my intuition that's when i should have backed away okay whatever you need to do to make you feel whole again to make you feel like gemini again okay what you don't see coming beautiful the empress okay a very nurturing nurturing energy this can be you embodying the empress okay this can be somebody helping you out that's going to nurture you and help guide you okay but it's abundance okay it's compassion it's a safe space right to look at all of this to heal to discover who you are oh my god i love tarot oh, judgment discover who you are that's it like come on a soul lesson within a soul lesson there are layers to this growth, to this healing, okay? And that's popped in so many times. That's what I mean with find the gratitude. Learn the lessons, okay? When you think you've learned enough, push yourself to learn more. It never ends, okay? And that's where your mind needs to be, okay? Four of Cups. Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? Learn the lesson and live your truth. Speak your truth, okay? When you connect with your soul and you allow yourself to speak your truth, things won't feel so dark, okay, or numb, okay, I'm getting that as well, you will feel something special again, 
okay? After a long period of, honestly, not knowing who you are is what this is saying, okay? Gemini goes, I just realized who I am and what I need to do. Beautiful. A message from your souls, what I said before, okay? Three of wands. Go towards what you feel called to do. What you feel called to say, what you feel called to be. Six of cups in the reverse, five of cups. Something has, ooh, brought you a lot of sadness, okay? And this is saying not listening to your soul. Blocking that softness, that gentleness, that vulnerability within you, okay? Gentleness is strength. That's where your power is, okay? so anyway <laughs> i know my cards okay and my cards are supporting me and what i'm saying to you guys this is a very special message okay going forward three of swords in reverse i love it <laughs> healing a shift in perspective okay trusting that through this pain it's gonna work out okay you are going to wind up where you're meant to be. But that means you have to understand cycles need to close so that new beginnings can come in. Passionate new beginnings, may I say. The trick to that is going forward. Cancer energy, okay? No attachment to the outcome, okay? Enjoy the journey. Be present, Gemini, okay? I see some love energy popping up, so I will pull that card for you. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Interesting. That can just be you going through a transformation of who you are and what you need. Okay? Be kind to yourselves. Be patient to yourselves. And yeah, please like, share, subscribe. It helps my channel so much. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.